The Japanese anime, ZOM 100, Bucket List of the Dead, follows the story of Akira, who successfully joined his dream company. But you didn't know this company is a dead, torturous one that doesn't give a single hour to rest. Due to the workload, the workers turn into zombies, making Akira happy because he no longer has to follow a tiresome routine. He wakes up from his dream and walks out to the balcony, where he sees zombies walking on the roads. He finds relief knowing that he is not a worker anymore. Aside from this, a news anchor is presenting the scary situation in Tokyo and the zombie apocalypse. Akira goes to drink beer from the fridge, only to realize that there is no beer left. He freaks out because without a beer, he knows he will slack off. He decides to go outside and get more beer, but gets discouraged when he sees zombies walking around. He gets conflicted, but his heart pushes him to take the risk for his one true love. Beer. When Akira arrives at the convenience store, he comes across a beautiful girl named Shizuka. He grabs his beer and then musters up the courage to ask her for her number. Shizuka refuses to give him her contact information and explains that he would lower her chances of survival if he accompanied her. Suddenly, a zombie enters the store and attacks them. Shizuka tackles Akira to the ground as a bus driver who has turned into a zombie smashes the bus into the store. Shizuka escapes the scene as Akira realizes that his bicycle has broken, so he uses a scooter to save his life and runs away. At night, Akira is enjoying his beer when he thinks about the uncertainty of life. He decides to make a bucket list and fulfill all his dreams before he gets infected by a zombie. He grabs a notebook and writes down his dreams which includes going home to see his family, going out with his friend, and spending quality time with a girl from his imagination. It is then revealed that Shizuka is gathering resources to survive. She observes zombies from her balcony and tries to figure out the safest way to reach the convenience store. She reaches the store and grabs the necessities before she meets Akira. She is surprised by how unserious he is about the situation. When she returns home, she checks the video footage from the camera installed on her bike and continues observing zombies. The next day, a notification pops up on Akira's phone and he jumps joyfully when he realizes that the internet service is back. He decides to contact his friends and comes across Kencho's contact. Kencho, on the other hand, is locked in a room with zombies running in the corridors. He is almost out of food and water and is trapped inside the room with another zombie that he tied up. He remembers Akira and how he used to make Akira laugh in college to the point his ribs would hurt. He decides to call Akira to check if he's alive or not. Luckily, they get in contact and Akira decides to go meet his friend. On his way, Akira remembers an argument that the two had the last time they met. Akira was unhappy about Kencho bragging about his job and his love life and wanted him not to mention it again. Akira decides to put the argument behind them as it is a life and death situation and he needs to help his friend. He tapes down a ball to the horn of a car to create a distraction to attract all the zombies there. Kencho hears the noise and leaves the room to find the halls empty. He wanders around and then hears the elevator ding. He notices that the elevator is empty before he feels a tap on his shoulder. He turns around to see Akira standing in front of him. The two have an emotional reunion and Akira apologizes for what he said in the argument. Akira's cries attract the zombies and they run away through the stair exit. The two try to escape only to find that there is nowhere to go. Kensho tries keeping the door closed but the zombies are triple in number. Akira suggests that they jump to the other building. Akira jumps to the building, but Kenchu is afraid. He starts crying and admits that his life was fake and that he was never happy with his job. Akira comforts his friend and motivates him to jump. Kenchu finally decides to take the risk and jumps to the other building. Later at night, Akira and Kenchu discuss their plans while enjoying a can of beer. They both feel relieved that they managed to escape the zombies and can finally focus on their future together. The next day, Akira and Kencho are hanging out when Kencho finds the list of things Akira wants to do before turning into a zombie. He adds his dream to the list, which is to become a stand-up comedian. The two head out on Akira's motorcycle to find a showbiz company. 
When they arrive, they get attacked by a firefighter zombie. They escape the attack and drive into a basement, only to find a swarm of zombies there as well. Akira finds an opening in the mall's gate and thinks that he'll be able to buy a big screen there, fulfilling one of his dreams. The two manages to make it past the small opening and close the gate behind them. They are taken aback when they find three girls and a man, terrified, standing in front of them. All of them are scared that they will die down there, but Akira makes them realize that they are in the mall and have access to food and all the other necessities. All of them grab the food from the store and sit down to eat. The girls introduce themselves as flight attendants and Akira is surprised as it was his dream to have a meal with a flight attendant. Kensho seems to attract all the ladies and Akira gets upset. He downs a whole bottle of beer and later ends up on the bathroom floor, puking. Yukari appears behind him and pats his back, comforting him. Kensho and Maki leave to find an empty room when it is revealed that the man was bitten by a zombie. He attacks the girl left with him and turns her into a zombie as well. Kensho and Maki hear a noise and upon investigation, they find that the two have become zombies. The girl attacks Maki and turns her into a zombie as well. Meanwhile, Akira and Yukari are sitting by the stairs when a zombie attacks them. The zombie attacks Yukari and gets bitten. She then urges Akira to run away and save himself. With tearful eyes, Akira finds Kensho who is holding a TV and they both escape. When they reach their apartment, Akira gets a flashback of Yukari. And that's where the anime ends for now. If you want to know what happens next, keep watching this channel.